Hi, I'm Beth Norcross. I direct the Center for Spirituality and Nature. About four weeks from now, as you know, we're going to have a very important election. The stakes are very high, as we all know, and will define the trajectory of the nation for decades to come. That makes me a little bit nervous. Maybe you too. So I'm out here in the beautiful Shenandoah National Park at the very beginning of autumn to see if the woods have something to offer me and, and perhaps all of us about how we get through this difficult time. You want to come with me? So I'm about a mile in now. I'm already starting to feel better. I wish you could be out here with me. First of all, the smell of the leaves. You remember that smell of decaying leaves. It's so great and it just comforts me immediately. And then of course, many of the birds have already fled. So can you hear something here? No, I don't either, just the wind. And this. Remember this when we were kids? That sound shuffling through leaves? Yeah, maybe you can still do that someplace near your house. I'm feeling a little better. How about you? I'm not getting very far because I see, keep seeing cool things. Here are the early leaf droppers, the maples, chestnut oak, and so forth. They've all had to let go. It's the most natural thing in the world. They thicken at their base and they just let go. What do we need to let go of right now? So I'm a couple miles in now, and this is another thing that happens in autumn. Obviously the leaves are dropping, but what's happening, a view is forming. We can see differently during the autumn times. Stripped bare. The trees no longer block our view. Is that happening to you too? As you drop your leaves? Is your perspective broadening? Maybe you're able to look beyond the next four weeks into the future. Take the long view as these plants and trees of the forest do. And amidst all this decay and decline, some reminders that beauty is still here if we stop and pay attention to it. These beautiful asters, what a treat. So we're about three and a half miles in now. We're gonna turn around and go back, but first it's time for lunch. How about we take a lunch break together and check out our lunch spot. So I forgot to mention, there's no cell service up here. So I just put 
my phone on airplane mode or meditation mode if you prefer and I'm just taking things as they come and look at this very cool tunnel of laurel isn't this neat I feel very enveloped protected nothing can get at me no work calls no family calls texts emails all of that As I'm walking along here, I'm finding lots of nuts, hickory nuts and acorns and kind of stumbling over them. There's so many here. It's another way that nature provides, you know, in the autumn when everything shuts down and closes down and the animals are really desperate for some food. When does nature drop its nuts and provide its berries? right now, right when we need it most. What's out there being provided for you right now that we just need to look a little harder to find? And check this out. This is the, one of the most interesting things to me about autumn. As these oak leaves are decaying, thickening at their base, getting ready to drop. Look what's happening down there. Let me see how close I can get for you. The buds are forming for next spring. They'll hang on during the cold and harshness of winter up here in the park. And it does get pretty cold and icy. And they're holding hope for the spring. See them there? Amazing. What are we holding hope for this spring? Nature reassures us that there's always something going on that's holding hope for us even if we don't see it but if we look really closely we might be able to get a glimpse well we're at the end of our hike I'm a little pooped but I feel a lot better and I, I hope you do as well these these feelings of fear and anxiety and apprehension about the election are real and I don't want to minimize those in any way. And yet, this too is real. The perspective that the natural world gives us, the comfort, the healing, the hope, all of it's here. And while we may not want to push aside those difficult emotions, we can hold those along with this, this joy, this delight, this comfort that we've experienced today. I know not everybody has a national park in their backyard, but I hope you find some place to go in the next few weeks, some place away from the 24 hour news cycle, which I've enjoyed not being around today some place where you can listen to the breeze, smell the leaves, look for those little bits of beauty, the asters and the witch hazel that are blooming today, that you can find those little buds that are being set and are gonna hang in there regardless of the winter that they find themselves in. I hope you find some encouragement and comfort of course, I, I would be remiss if I didn't encourage all of us to vote. It's so important this year in particular. Vote for the earth. It's given us so much. It's the least that we could do.